learn. Number one, I had to learn, and this is going to be a good one. I had to learn this year in 2011 that there are going to be seasons in your life where you have to disconnect from people. You have to, oh man, I, yeah, it's touched me. You have to disconnect from, I'm going to preach this thing. You have to disconnect from people because you can't take everybody with you into your new year. You can't take everybody with you, Sister McNeil, into your next level because everybody is not meant to be with you forever. Okay, let me repeat this thing. Shaquise, everybody ain't meant to be with you forever. Everybody can't go with you to your next level. Everybody can't go where you're trying to go because some people don't have the stamina. They don't have the endurance. They don't have the backbone. They don't have the strength. They don't have the wherewithal. They don't have the heart to stick by your side until you finish fighting the good fight of faith. Uh, let's be real, people. I know you're sitting there looking at me like I done said something wrong, but let's be real. The people that you thought would help you are the main ones that stabbed you in the back and tried to bring you down. The people that you thought would stay by your side are the ones when you turned around, they weren't nowhere to be found. As soon as they saw that you were about to sink, they started running. When they heard that you were going through some family issues, they started talking about you and turned their backs on you. As soon as they knew that you were having financial problems, they wouldn't even answer your phone call. That's become some people are with you just because of who and what you are and what they can get out of you. Because as soon as they get to where they want to be, they'll drop you like a bad habit because they won't need you anymore. The funny thing is, Jeannie, is that when everybody goes through something, they don't blame the people that they're connected to. They don't blame who they're sleeping with. They don't blame themselves. They always blame the church. Uh, I'm not going to dwell on that. Let me go to number two. <laughs> Baby, number two, uh, you'll like this, you'll like this. Number two is some relationships are not promised to last forever. Some relationships, uh, Sister Jewel, are not meant to last forever. Do you think that uh, the hell that you going through with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, well, it ain't meant to Here we go. Uh, uh, the Bible says, let me back it up. Here we go. The Bible says, and I believe it's in Acts chapter 15. Acts chapter 15, if you uh, um, back that thing up, just one chapter. Paul and Barnabas were in ministry. They were ministry partners, and it came a time where Paul said to Barnabas, let us go back and visit the believers in all the towns where we preach. So Barnabas wanted to take John, also called Mark. But, but, but Paul said it like this. Paul said, we can't take them because he didn't do what was right when he had the chance when he was preaching there. So so Paul and, and Barnabas, they got into an argument and a disagreement. Uh, they parted the ways and, and Barnabas took Mark and Paul chose Silas. Paul chose Silas. What am I saying? This lets you know that some relationships are not, oh this is going to be heavy. Some relationships are not covenant and eternal relationships. They're just seasonal relationships. They're not covenant relationships, Jay. They're just seasonal relationships. Some relationships are going to come and some relationships are going to go. And as quick as they walk in your life, they'll quickly walk back out of your life. But you can't get upset and irate over who walked out of your life. You should be happy that they left you because now you don't have to have the burden of entertaining their fakeness, their phoniness, their garbage any longer. I don't care if it was a million people, I'm gonna preach this thing. One thing is, one thing I can't stand, and, and CC, I can't stand it. I can't stand fake, phony, artificial, plastic, two faced, deceptive people. That's why, that's why you gotta be ready. 
to disconnect yourself from seasonal people. All right, I'll say it again. You got to be ready, Kiki, to disconnect yourself from seasonal people. If you hold on to them, it will do you more harm than good. And I'm declaring right now that in 2012, I'm not going to carry anybody with me that's seasonal. I don't care who it is. I'm not carrying anybody that's flighty. I ain't carrying anybody that causes drama. I ain't carrying anybody that has mood swings. I ain't carrying anybody that throws temper tantrums I ain't carrying anybody that acts like an airhead I ain't carrying anybody that's brain dead I ain't carrying anybody that got chemical imbalances I ain't carrying anybody that needs psychiatric treatment I ain't carrying anybody that's unstable you can act like you want to carry them but the burden will be on your shoulder I ain't carrying anybody that's irresponsible I ain't carrying anybody that's dizzy I I ain't carrying anybody that's temperamental. Oh, this side done got crazy on me. I ain't carrying anybody that's unpredictable. I ain't carrying anybody that speaks to me one day and act like they don't know me another day. Anybody ever experienced somebody like that? Baby, in 2012, your season is up. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Uh, your season is up matter of fact I ain't waiting until 2012 that's too long of a lifetime your season is up right now and you gotta understand that you can't play with things you can't touch things you can't smell things you can't taste things you can't grasp onto things you can't hold on to somebody or something that's past this season You can't hold on to somebody or something that's past this season. Check it out. Because if you hold on to it past this season, it will pervert your purpose. Okay. I done took you too deep. Where you got scripture for that? Yes, I do. If you turn to Exodus 16, you don't got to turn there. If you turn to it when you get home, Exodus 16, uh, chapter 16, verses 15 through 20, that when the children of Israel were released from the bondage of Pharaoh, they were traveling in the wilderness, complaining about their hunger. So they started acting crazy like some of us do. They started talking about, oh, God, we're going to die. Oh, you just, you just helped us over the Red Sea. But God, you ain't able to keep us in this wilderness. Oh, we gonna die. And they said, we had plenty of food back in Egypt. Why are you gonna bring us all the way out in this wilderness to kill us now? Oh, you know how it is. But Moses spoke to the Lord and, and the Lord told him, he said, tell them that I will give them flesh at night and I will give them manna in the morning. So Moses told them to tell, uh, told them that God is gonna send manna. God is gonna send manna down. Andrea, Moses said, take as much as you need. Take three pounds for each person to sustain you throughout the day. Everyone gathered as much as they need, but Moses said, let me put this disclaimer in there. Take what you need for that day. Take what you need for that day. Do not try and store some, Uncle Joe. Oh, do not try and store some for the next day because God will provide okay you didn't hear what I said he said take as much as you need for that day but don't store it up oh, because God will provide they didn't listen to Moses they ain't listen to Moses and they tried they tried to store it up for the next day and the man rotten and was full of maggots and started to stink he started to stink so Moses got mad I said that to say this anything that you have passed this season will spoil anything that you have past this season will spoil you can't eat spoiled food you can't drink spoiled drinks because your stomach will not allow you to digest that which is spoiled so it, it, it remain if, if you remain if you remain connected, if you remain connected to anything that is rotten, you risk the chance of being poisoned. All right, I, I done lost you. If you remain, if you remain connected, if you connect yourself to something, I'm gonna preach this thing. Give me two more minutes. That is rotten. Uh, you you will become poisonous, and you'll get what we call food poison. And anything that is poison to you is harmful to you. And anything that's harmful to you, Naj, it'll.